teacher fam. Today Wes is going to be showing you how to color code Google folders and use that as an organizational tool for you and your students. All right, let's go. Hey teacher fam, welcome to this video. So if you just look inside my district um, drive here, I open the drive, you'll see I have a series of colored folders and they represent school years because I work at the district office and projects kind of come and go on an annual basis. It'd be different for a classroom teacher. Probably if you use curriculum over year after year, you might organize it by subject, for example, for elementary school. Um, but when you open this, you'll see all the folders for this school year are pink. Last year, all of them are orange, for example. So I'm gonna show you how to create that. So I'm gonna go into a, my Because We're Teachers account. I'm gonna click My Drive. And you can see that we have this year <laughs> for Because We're Teachers is pink as well because I have color-coded my drives across my different Google accounts. Um, but let's say I'm gonna create a folder for my Bitmoji resources. So create a new folder this way, you click New, Folder, and I'll say Bitmoji Images for Darlene. Let's do that say I'm gonna have a folder just for my wife's Bitmoji images. Now it comes up gray, you just right click or control click and you get a context menu. And then you can go down to change color. And so I'm gonna change it to match this year's color. Now let's say um, I'm gonna undo that. I did Command Z and I undid the color of the folder. Let's say I've clicked into the folder. You can also right click or um, two finger click or command click, control click, depending on Windows or Mac, and you get the same context menu, change color, and you can select the color of the folder when you're inside the folder itself. Um, also, when you're staying organized, if you're inside a folder and you say new Google slide, it's placing that folder or it's placing that file inside the folder. So let me go over that once again. So if I'm inside the folder and I say new, Google Slides, I'm creating that inside uh, that folder. And then I'm just gonna delete that and insert this, paste, and there I am. All right, now when we go back, we'll see this is here. You can also, if you're in a folder, you can also hit that new. And because you're in this folder, when you're hitting new, it's gonna place those items inside that folder. That's it, that's how easy it is. Um, you could do different folders different colors for different subjects. Um, I do it for different years. And so we'll just take a look at my district account again. And you can see that when I'm in here, all my folders are, um, are color coded to match the year. Now here's one that I forgot to do. So I'm just gonna go back and make that that orange color. Now, now let's say I wanna search my Google Drive for a particular topic. Let's say it's receipts for the school district or for me for my classroom. Now, when I type in the word receipts, I get these folders and I can tell by the color of the folder, even if I neglected to put the year or some other identifying information on, I can tell by the color of the folder if it's relevant to this school year. So that's an easy way to do that. And you can see I have uh, folders inside the 2019, 2020 receipt folder that are matching color for the different months. So that's a, and a way to stay organized. You can also teach your students this. So this is a great technique to give students an organizational tool that they can apply. And so you can ask them to create certain color coded folders for themselves to help stay organized. Now, one thing to remember is when you share a folder, that color doesn't go to the other person. They have the opportunity to, to color code things for themselves. So this is only on your end, your view. Hopefully this has been helpful. Click the like button, leave us a comment, give us another organizational tip for Google Drive, and we'll see you in the next video.